Hello Mars. And this is Disclosure coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State, which, are f which is feeling rather tundra like at the time right now. Anyway, uh, I got a special treat for you today. And I'll just take a look at this thing. This is is not the only thing, by the way. Uh, there's a couple other interesting buildings. Uh, have a quarter moon on one side, almost, and more of a straight-cornered building on the other side. Maybe in a Martian office complex or something. That'd be my guess. The neat thing about Google Earth is that we can adjust angles on this. Man. We can adjust angles on this so that we can look at this from all different sides. You can't do that with the rover photos. That's one of my frustrations. So let's take a look at this thing and we will go around and I'll try to uh, get the best image of this that I can. Uh, looking at, on this side, it looks like there's some kind of an overhang on it. There's kind of a keyhole-shaped open area. By the way, I am going to bring up a still picture of this. And we will go over that as well. You notice how bright this thing is? It really doesn't match the surrounding landscape. I believe this to be a building complex of some kind, so I don't see how it could be, uh, yeah, remember, this is a huge thing. I don't see how it could be so, I don't know how to put it, so straight on two sides like that and have right angles and everything else. It may not be fully intact. It might be long since abandoned building, but in my opinion, it's definitely a building. I think it's just blatantly, blatantly obvious that what we have there is a building. So, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple stills of this thing, and this is my still I took of it. I'm going to bring down the contrast, bring up the contrast, and bring down brightness a little bit. And I'm going to show you, draw my uh, arrows here. Right there, and right there, uh, there are projections coming out of it on this side. That ain't no rock. This is a building of some kind, or possibly two buildings. It might be old and broken down, but it's definitely, we're definitely looking at a structure. shouldn't have done that. I should have un undone it before I left. Anyway, no harm done. Well, this 
this is just others. I thought I touched some others, but... Anyway, you get the point. We're not, we're seeing something that's artificial. There even appears, possibly, there might be a tower coming out of it, although that's inconclusive. So let's take a look at a couple other things. Again, we have an example of what apparently is a building. Notice the straight edges. This is like a shelf that's sticking out of there or something. And it casts a shadow, so it's not on the ground. It's a lot like those other things that I showed. Get out the drawing tool again. That's the object I'm talking about. There's a number of these objects in this uh, photo. Sorry about that undo wall thing there. That's courtesy of Windows Movie Maker, which always crashes. There's something that's slightly interesting. It looks kind of like a light. I looked at this complex that's right in the center and didn't find anything terribly interesting. Here's another one like that other one right here. shelves above ground mm. I'm trying to look at this in a little more detail we using uh three d aspect here. You can tell these things are above ground. I mean, come on. And they do cast shadows. Spaceship. Well, it could be. Let's see if I can get that in the center so maybe I don't have to move this around as I'm trying to circle it. Problem is it doesn't work like that. Lots and lots of straight lines in this uh, area. Plenty of reason to think that we are uh, seeing some artificial whatevers, buildings, structures. This one, right in the center again, you know, just take a look at it. It goes all the way with it, though. That looks like an old broken down structure to me. It's hard to tell. Well, that original one definitely is building. Another rectangular thing right there. Yeah, when I first start, started seeing claims of cities on Mars, I uh, 
They didn't really scoff him. I just didn't know what to make him. But I'm beginning to see what people are talking about. I knew there were artifacts on that planet. Look at this. This is not an impact crater. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. We're coming back at the beginning. I would definitely say there's some uh, artificial stuff here. Especially this item. It's pretty much undeniable. If that's a natural formation, then I'm a star athlete from New York Mets, you know. Gee. Let's take a quick look at this one. I don't know if I looked at this one before. A lot of these uh, buildings look the same to me. You can see they cast shadows. They're up off the ground. See if I can orbit it around to the other side of this thing. In all seriousness, this is the type of thing uh, some of you should be doing with Google Earth if you're going to, uh, you know, study Mars with it. Use these controls to try to get closer to it. Look at the area in 3D. Don't just peer down from the clouds and think you're going to find everything you're going to find. This is what I'm starting to do is uh, I'm going around looking at things in 3D and looking at them from different angles. As I grow more experience using Google Earth, I think that's going to be the thing to do. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. You're not being told the truth about Mars. You're being lied to. There's no way to answer buts about it. Uh, feel free to use this video and my other disclosure videos. Use them, I don't care. No copyright, I don't care, use them. Nothing will ever be said as long as you're not sitting there razzing me out or something. Then I might say something. If you're just using them for your research, go right ahead, have fun, knock yourself out, enjoy. I'm Artifacts of Mars.